Hello everyone, this is Victor. I'm going to be walking you through how to make some schedule changes for student schedules in PowerSchool when you are still working within Power Scheduler. So what that means is you're wanting to make some student schedule changes before they go live if you're working, say, in uh, the, the spring semester to prep for the next fall before you roll over those schedules. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to follow along with this tutorial is go ahead and go to PowerSchool and you wanna make sure you navigate to the correct school. Again, remembering that PowerSchool only works in the school level. Um, and then we're gonna to go to Power Scheduler. Once you're in Power Scheduler, what you're gonna go ahead and do is select a student that you want to work with. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and select a random sixth grade student. Now, what I do is go ahead and set my results to the matrix view. And my reason for that is I find it a little bit easier to work with. Um, once you then select a student, you'll see what their courses are looking like and shaping like for next year. Now, we have a complicated system at my school, um, so it's a little bit more difficult to make those schedule changes and requests, um, but everything else should fall into place as you continue through. Now, what you're going to do if you notice gaps is you're going to click this manually schedule student button. And what it will do is it will take all of the student's course requests and give you a set of options as to where you can put that student. Now, if you are like me and have a bunch of sections that are not built into the schedule, you're going to see a lot of red as you get into this system. What you're going to also notice, though, is you have the ability to mark scheduled, core scheduled, primary and total request satisfied areas on each student. So now that I've selected the matrix view, I can actually just go through and view every student's schedule and all of their percentage requests. So that's basically how you're gonna manually change the student requests uh, within Power Scheduler. You can do all kinds of cool things like fancy reports if you know what these percentages should be. Um, but right now, this is just about how you get in to actually make those schedule check changes. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to me directly or leave a comment on this video. Thanks.